Well, it finally happened. Home values have decreased from August to September, but I gotta tell you, there's way more to the story than that. So let me provide a little context for you so you can look like a genius at the water cooler. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's Brian Simmons here with EXP Realty in Southern Oregon. It is October 5th. Fall is in the air, at least in the mornings. And uh, I'm here to tell you that the leaves are not the only thing starting to drop. If you could do me a quick favor and just hit the like button, click on the subscribe icon, and share this video with anybody you know who's looking to buy or sell real estate in Southern Oregon, I really appreciate that. If you're curious what your home's worth or you want to just do some house hunting, check out my website, buyingsouthernoregon.com, or look in the description of this video for more helpful links. Now, let's go ahead and run through the data and see what happened over the last seven days. As of this morning, there was 1,200 active single family residential listings between Jackson and Josephine counties of Southern Oregon. 96 new listings hit the market in the last week. 138 price changes, 46 went back on the market, uh, 85 pending, which is a little low, 116 closed though, which is crazy high, we'll talk about that in a sec, 92 either expired, withdrawn, or canceled, which is also very, very high, okay, and all that together brings us to 10.3 weeks worth of inventory if we were to look at just a snapshot of the one week. So that week's of inventory is the lowest we've seen since the beginning of July, uh, so that's substantial, that's, a, that's big. Um, and the expired, withdrawn, canceled is also the highest I've ever seen in as long as I've been recording the data. Um, but the big news, despite all that, is the closed number. In the six weeks prior, our average was 84 and a half closed transactions per week. We're almost 40% above that at 116. That's crazy. Another thing that's important to note, I think, is that the average sold price uh, for a single family residential listing in Southern Oregon, Jackson, Josephine counties, was 496,000 in August, and it went down in September to 467,000. So it's about a 6% drop. And so you've heard all these people talking forever about how prices are coming down. I just said it in the video last week that they actually in fact have not. And now this week we have data that shows that they finally did. However, What's important to know, and this is the context that I think is going to make you look smart if you're talking about this with your friends, is guess what happened last year between August and September? Oh, the price went down. Average sales price went down. Guess what happened the year prior between August and September? Prices went down. Okay, so it's a historical trend that between August and September, the price actually drops. Uh, it's happened in the last each of the last three years. Okay, so that's something I think that is important to keep in mind here. Now, in your conversations with people around the water cooler, if you want to really look smart, you can tell them too that guess what? It actually drops as well between September and October. And that's the same kind of trend that we've seen in years past. So yeah, typically comes down from August to September, typically comes down from September to October. Um, and other than that, it kind of fluctuates. Okay, but that's something that's very, very clear in the data is that 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 tends to happen pretty consistently year to year. What's important to know though, is that the average sales price is, is something that bounces around, okay? It's it's the trend that's more important and that's what we wanna look at. And that's uh, one of the things that we have looked at. And um, the trend in Southern Oregon is that we've been bouncing right up against $500,000 as an average sold price for, for a long time, since February. Uh, we had a big jump in February, right up almost to 500,000, and then it's just kind of done this um, ever since that point. And then this was a pretty decent drop, really, to come down to 467. So I think it'll come down again in October, most likely, and then who knows what will happen in November. It might bump back up. It's going to really depend, I think, a lot on rates. Uh, so if you see interest rates um, come back down um, before the end of the year, then you can see that average price jump back up as buyers who were kind of holding out for a certain level of home will then again be able to, to actually afford it. If we were able to view this data as uh, slicing it up by price point, which I'll try to find a way to do, um, but what I would suspect we would see is a lot more activity happening around that $400,000 price point because you gotta assume most buyers are looking right around the average price point of what we were at about 500,000. Okay. And so the way the math works is that if, if you were a buyer looking at 
about 500,000 and you were doing it when mortgage rates were a couple points lower, let's say, you know, 4.8%. A $500,000 purchase price with 20% down at 4.8%, that's a mortgage of $2,098, okay? And that's not assuming taxes or insurance or anything like that. That's just purely the mortgage payment. Now that rates have gone up from 4.8 to 6.8, just as an example, um, a $400,000 home, a full $100,000 less, a $400,000 home with 20% down at 6.8% is a $2,086 a month mortgage, okay? So basically your buying power at 500,000 is now 400,000 because of the increase from 4.8 to 6.8, okay? So that's why I think we've seen a lot of people or we're gonna see a lot of people go from 500,000 to 400,000 in price range and I think that's where the, the majority of the buying activity is probably going on for that reason. Let me make a quick little pivot here to share a really cool loan concept. What if you could get your mortgage rate back down to the level that it was beforehand, two full points lower? And the cool thing is you actually can, okay? There's a really, really cool loan program called a 2-1 buy down. Um, and, and not all lenders are doing it, but some of them are. Um, and what it is, is that basically it's a program where the, but the seller contributes to your closing costs as a buyer and buys your rate down by two points in the first year and by one point in the second year, okay? And that buys you some time to hopefully have rates come back down to where you can refinance at a lower rate. Um, and so that is a really, really cool program to where if you really found, you know, the house that you wanted to get in and it's in that higher price point, you could use a program like this, do a two, one buy down and, uh, and get into that home for the rate that you would have paid back, you know, six months ago or so. Uh, so that's something that, you know, they, they're doing for conventional, for FHA, for VA. Uh, so if you'd like to learn more about that, let me know and I can connect you with the lender uh, or a couple of different lenders that I know who, who are offering that type of program because uh, it's a really good one. I hope that all helps you guys. If there's anything in the world that I can do for you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, please remember also to just click that like icon, hit the subscribe button and share this video with anybody you know who is looking to buy or sell real estate in Southern Oregon. And I'd be happy to help them. Hope you have a great one and we'll see you next week. Thanks.